Hello and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. Today we're going to talk about three really easy ways to fertilize your houseplants. Um, and today's video is sponsored by our Amazon affiliate, which you can find down below in the description. Okay, so fertilizing your houseplants. You probably know you need to fertilize your houseplants. You probably think about fertilizing your houseplants. You probably try to get around to fertilizing your houseplants. And then when you finally do get around to fertilizing your houseplants, there's so many options and it's a little overwhelming. So I'm going to break it down a little bit for you, make it easy. Um, first of all, I like to do organic fertilizing. I like to use organic products. Um, one of the main reasons, which I actually talk about in my book here, um, Indoor Gardening the Organic Way, is that chemical fertilizers, I had actually a grower tell me this. It was supposed to be off the record, which it was for many years when I was writing um, for the LA Times Garden section. Uh, she told me that growers would refer to chemical fertilizers as steroids for plants. So what happens is the plants get hooked on the chemical fertilizer and unless you keep fertilizing and fertilizing and fertilizing on a normal schedule, the plants won't do well. So the great thing about organic fertilizing is it's a sustainable thing. When you feed the soil with organic fertilizers, the soil then in turn is able to feed the plants and it's a really nice cycle that goes on there. Okay, so... Uh, there are three main ways to fertilize your houseplants. The first one is the regular way of with a granular fertilizer. The second is with a fertilizer in your water. And the third is a foliar fertilizer. So I'm going to start with the good old granular fertilizer. A lot of you may have. Now, you may have read, and this fertilizer is um, on my website. It's actually my formulation, which I've used for many years very successfully. So when you have this granular fertilizer, and it could be uh, in different consistencies, but uh, they may tell you, put it on the top of the soil and work it in. Well, there's a few problems with that. Number one, it doesn't get to the root zone of the plants, which you really want it to do. Number two, it will then flow off. Um, number three, it takes a really long time when you're watering for those nutrients to really work their way into the soil to the root zone. I mentioned the root zone too because a lot of organic fertilizers today have mycorrhizae and uh, this is a really good one here. Now mycorrhizae is actually a fungus that attaches to plant roots and I have it in my fertilizer uh, which I'm going to be putting in in a sec. Now, mycorrhizae, like I mentioned, it's a fungus, but it's a fungus that's microscopic. You don't see it. It's a fungus that's actually out in nature, and that's how many plants grow. What happens is, is this fungus attaches to plant roots, and in exchange for going out and getting more, more nutrients and more water than the plant would get on its own, the plant allows the fungus to live on its roots. So it's a really cool symbiotic relationship. So that being said, you, you noticed I mentioned roots. And the roots is where you want the mycorrhizae to get to. If it's on the soil surface, it's not going to do much good. So I devised a way to fertilize with granular fertilizers that works great. You use a wooden dowel. I actually send a wooden dowel with all my fertilizers when, I, when, I, when, when they're bought. And what you do is you make a few holes in the soil. You want to go down about an inch, inch and a half, depending on the, the depth of the pot. You may want to go down deeper for deeper pots. Little pots, you want to go a little bit shallower. You want to make a hole and then you will use the dowel to open it and you will put a little bit of fertilizer in there, cover it up, and you're going to move on to the next spot. And you'll see I pre-watered this plant because you don't want to do this in dry soil. You want to pre-water and then you want to put the, so the fertilizer in. So we're going to do a few more. You want to figure it out. This is about two tablespoons per square inch or so that you want to use. So we're probably want to use about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half, somewhere in there. The great thing about organic fertilizers too is that they won't burn roots like chemical fertilizers. So you can 
add a little extra than you're supposed to, and it's not going to harm them. Whereas a chemical fertilizer will burn the leaves and burn the roots. I'm going to do a little bit more here, and then one more over here. So we're getting a good distribution there, and you can use the dowel to cover it up. And then what you want to use is this is, reg this is fresh water with nothing in it, and you want to water in the fertilizer. And you don't have to do much since you're already moist, but you want to water it in so that activates, and that will activate the mycorrhizae, and it will um, get things moving and you really help your plant. Okay, so that is with the granular fertilizer. Now, I'm going to move on to liquid fertilizers. Liquid fertilizer, probably the most straightforward. You will put whatever liquid fertilizer you're using in. <clears throat> in this, I put um, in the, the indoor, this, this is the, uh, this uh, brand of uh, Soma, and it's an indoor, the, they're indoor mix. So, indoor plants for the house plants. Put the right amount, always follow the package directions, uh, especially with, the, especially, um, with liquids. It, and it's better to err a little on the less side than the more side. Uh, it still is not going to hurt your plant if you go a little overboard with an organic, but it's just a better practice to not, not overdo it. So this plant is, uh, is I'm going to go ahead and uh, fertilize with this fertilizer. So when you, fer when you water, when you fertilize with water, you want to really soak it. You want to soak it where it comes through the pot drainage holes. It goes into somewhere. So like a sink would work. I have a plastic uh, plant holder here. Um, this pot is also ca catching it right now. So that gives you a good idea. And when fertilizing with water and watering, you always want to use lukewarm water, warm to lukewarm water, because if you use cold water, the, it, it shocks the plant roots. It can cause spotting. It can cause the, even the roots to die back, especially now in the winter months with the really, really, really cold water. So you want that water to be warm. Let it warm up to room temperature. Um, if you really love your plants like I do, I will heat my water up a little bit in the microwave as well. All right, now I'm going to move on to foliar feeding. And I love foliar feeding. It is a really great way to give the plants a really a boost, a shot in the arm, so to speak, of fertilizer. It will make plants green up. It can make plants green up as in, in as little as a, a week. Uh, and uh, so it really works well. Now these two plants you'll see, this plant here, I'm gonna put some, I, and I did the African violet mix. That's it right there. Uh, that's orchid, Oop, oops, nope. And here it is. And anyway, I used the African violet mix in this foliar fertilizer um, because this guy really needs a quick boost. So if you have a plant that you can tell is ailing, it's chlorotic, which means it doesn't have enough iron in it or it just doesn't have enough nitrogen to grow and you want it to keep flowering like this one is just finished flowering, then you can do foliar fertilizing. Now, when you do that, what you do is you mix a liquid fertilizer. Uh, you can use a granular fertilizer if you make a tea out of it, which is would be steeping the granular fertilizer for a while until usually a week until you have a nice um, liquid fertilizer. But anyway, you will put it in an atomizer bottle. Uh, I, I like this one. I've had it for years because it does a really fine mist because you really do want a fine mist when you do this. And what happens when you spray this fertilizer on is that the stomata in the leaves, which is like sweat glands, like our sweat glands, or you know, our glands in our skin, it soaks up the fertilizer right away. And it gets into the plant system much more quickly than it does via roots when you go in and fertilize with liquid um, or granular in the soil. So it's a really good boost. It's really good too if you have a micronutrient that you need to get done or to get into the roots. Um, into the plant or um, a certain mineral. Uh, iron is one of them that you might want to do get into the plant quickly. So here you see I, I doused that really good. Uh, since I have African violet in here, I'm going to do it on my other African violet here too. It's good to do it on the undersides of leaves as well because a lot of stomata are there too. Now, 
The first, this is an organic, so you don't have to worry too much about it burning, but you do want to check and make sure uh, if you're a little concerned, it's a delicate plant, it's a plant that's heritage plant, maybe from your grandmother that she gave you that you're worried about or you don't want you, you want to make sure it's okay, just test a leaf or two. Let it sit for a couple days and make sure it's okay. This Now you can do it on the bigger plants too. I'm going to do it on this one. This one is pretty good, doing pretty good, pretty healthy, doesn't necessarily need it right now, but it is still a great way to fertilize. It's also a great way to fertilize if you don't have time because you can... Simply squirt all your plants for the week and move on. Generally speaking, you want to fertilize when you're using an organic fertilizer about every six to two, six weeks to two months. You can go longer than that with fer organic fertilizer because, like I mentioned, it's self-sustaining, so uh, you keep a good cycle going. Uh, so that is really good to remember. And once again, warmish water, room temperature water when you do the... Uh, liquid fertilizer. When you are foliar fertilizing, not only do you put the foliar fertilizer mixed in with water into your spray bottle, but you also want to add a little bit of a surfactant. Surfactant is uh, made of oil and what it does is it makes sure that the fertilizer sticks to the leaves rather than falling off. Well, that is it for today on fertilizing your plants. Please leave comments about any other indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.